Hello everyone, my name is Aiki, and welcome back to Persona 3 FES. Since last time, well, nothing happened since last time, but last time, we beat the boss for this block of Tartarus. And now, we are heading for a long weekend. We got our Sunday off, and then tomorrow we are heading to Yakushima Island with the rest of the gang. So that should be a fun summer vacation. Oh, and we get a package, I think. Nice. Okay. Let's see what we can buy today. Mage's Mark. Cool. Ten super diet food. Yeah, I'll buy it. Alright, thanks. Okay, let's play with Maya. Listen, Tatsuya. Nowadays, I just log on to MMOs with bedhead and all, like today, well. But when I was little, people said I was a real cutie. Guess I missed my chance, right? Nobody thinks I'm hot anymore. Do men only want younger women? Be honest with me. Uh... Guys like younger chicks. No. Honestly, it doesn't really matter to me, but... I'll say that. Yeah, I thought so. Everyone knows it, but it sucks to hear for real. Fair is fair, though. I go for teenagers myself. I'm bad, right? You go for teenagers. But I didn't make sense. I should know better. I teach composite. You're Tori Yubi. You're my homeroom teacher. I'll be calm. I'll compose my bitching carefully for you. One of my co-workers is really pissing me off. I'm trying to avoid her. We used to teach the same grade, and we were together all the time. It's been a while, but that kind of thing sticks with you, you know? Anyway, she said she needed some advice, but then she just started bragging. Some student asked her out, and a guy she doesn't like proposed to her, uh... What? Is this Amiri? And she acts like it's nothing. Oh my god, right? I hate skinky hoes like her. Just give puppy her. Just give puppy dog eyes and guys do whatever. She even stuffs her bra. Well, ooh. <laughs> she a what? You know too much, Tatsuya. But that's right, she got- ooh, jeez. Poor Kenji. Well, it's done with Kenji, so. Oh my god, for reals, I saw Miss K running in li late one time, okay? That would be Miss Kano, I think? Her pads fell down on, and it looked like she had four. They're fake for sure. Yeah, kind of Emery. That's her name. And my school is full of teachers like that. Man, Tatsuya, talking to you is better than getting a massage. Complaining online is now an important part of my days off. I like talking to you too. This is so surreal. So she's Toriyumi. We're supposed to be fighting demons from hell, right? But after what I said, I might go to hell anyway. Well, I ran into some DVDs, so later Tatsuya. Thanks for chatting. That was amazing. Oh, 
Here we go. It's vacation time. Four days and three nights. This is going to be wild. Sweet. Look at this place. Wow. It's like we're in an episode of Lifestyles of the Rich and Fabulous. Whoa. Maids? Welcome back, milady. And you must be her schoolmates, correct? Welcome to the Kirijo vacation home. If this is your vacation home, I want to see what your home looks like. Please follow me. Um, is this the right place? Well, they did say Carijo. Dude, real life maids. I don't think you're going to be able to hit on them. I knew she was from an important family, but this definitely confirms it. Oh, is that your dad? It's good to see you. Dude. Was that... her father? Dude, talk about scary. Yeah, an eye patch and everything. He's not gonna make us walk the plank, is he? Well, he wasn't a pirate. Don't be stupid. We won't be here long, but make yourself at home. Sweet, this is gonna rock. Hey, you wanna go to the beach? It's right there. Yeah, let's go. Dude, this place rules. Come on, let's go. I'm with you. What, already? I mean, sure, but let me get changed first. Yeah, take your time. <laughs> then I'll see you there. I'm not gonna waste a single minute. Sweet. Uh, got my sandals on, giving my feet a chance to breathe. Yep, summer's here. What are you doing with that shirt on, Akihiko? You're a boxer. Darn, there's nothing out there I can use as a marker. Too bad, I was hoping for a good swim. You must be joking. We come all the way to the beach and you're gonna train? What's wrong with that? You got a better idea? Oh, I think I know what he has in mind. Damn right I do. It's summertime at the beach. I've got the perfect activity. What? Oh, look at you. Say hello to contestant number one, Yukari Takaba. As you can see, she's chosen a bold design, quite unexpected. It takes a lot of confidence to pull off a swimsuit like that. She's even got the sunglasses. Is that umbrella taken? Next up is contestant number two, Fuka Yamagishi. Wow, Fuka, I had no idea you were so... I mean, you should wear a swimsuit more often. Uh, Junpei? We can all see down there. Huh? Oh. oh, come on. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. <laughs> Jesus. Stop that creepy laugh, you perv. I mean, you asked for it. And here's our final contestant. Something wrong? Whoa, she has like a big flower. Wow, Mitsura Senpai, you're beautiful. Yeah, your skin.
skin is flawless. Did you already put on sunscreen? No, not yet. What is going on? This is like Junpei's dream right here. So, which one's your type? Uh Oh. Are you asking about the swimsuit or the girl? I think Mitsuru looks the best right now, but Akihiko is here, so I'm gonna say Yukari. Since I think Junpei likes Fuka. So. Aha! Just as I thought. Man, this is great. I'm in heaven. Akihiko, you can have Mitsuru. How about a swim? Ba -ba 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 -ba! Charge! Oh, he is so excited. Dude, take your shirt off! What? Weird. Ooh. We can walk around. Yeah. It's pretty nice. Oh, we can save here. That's cool. Alright. <laughs> it's nice to see him happy. And he's just splashing water at them. Oh my god. <laughs> Yukari seems to be having fun. Oh. I mean, if you weren't having fun, you would just exit the water. What else do we got here? Oh, we got a dock. And a boat. Can we go up here? Oh, sorry. Let's see. So I guess we just check everything out and then we can go back. Doesn't look like there's much. And then, yeah. Uh, yeah. Doesn't seem like there's anyone else. Been a while. I'm glad that you're in good health. Our guests are residents of the dorm, I presume. I'm sorry for bringing such a crowd. I heard you told them about the incident. Why did you hide it so long? I wasn't hiding it. I've told you time and again, none of the blame is yours. But... Two in harmony surpasses one in perfection. That has been our guiding principle since the Kurijo family separated from the Nanjo group. You must learn to trust in others, Mitsuru. There are things in this world that cannot be accomplished alone, no matter how many sacrifices you make. Yes, Father. You accessed our database, didn't you? That's another thing. Why didn't you ask me directly instead of using this trip as an excuse? I'm... I'm sorry. Bring them here. All of them. I had no intention of concealing the truth from them. I've made preparations to disclose everything. There's a girl named Takaba in your group, correct? For her to awaken to her power, it must be fate. Father? 
From what I understand, Mitsuru has already given you the short version. Well, it's true. We adults are to blame. It's always the adult's fault. If I could have atoned for it with my life, I would have done so. Now, I have no choice but to rely on you. What my father wanted to create with those monsters' power was a time manipulation device. What? That's what he was trying to do? You can't mess with time, man. Imagine, if you could control the flow of time, eliminate unwanted events before they occur. With such a device, you could shape the future to your liking. Damn, that's insane. However, under my father's direction, the research began to stray from its original goal. In his later years, my father seemed to have only nihilism in his heart. Now that I think about it, his madness may have resulted from his struggle to break free from that. It's only natural that you want to know the truth. And it's my duty to tell you. Whoa. What's this? Got a movie? This is the only existing footage of the accident, recorded by a scientist who was at the scene. I pray that this recording reaches safe hands. That voice! My employer has become obsessed with a loathsome idea. And this experiment should have never even been conceived. I'm afraid what I've done will result in an unprecedented disaster. If I hadn't, the entire world may have paid the price. The entire world? Please, listen carefully. The shadows that were amassed here have been dispersed as a result of the explosion. To end this nightmare, you must eliminate all of them. I am to blame for this. I knew the risks, but I was blinded by the promise of success. So I didn't raise any objections. It is all my fault. Huh? Dad? You mean... that was... Father. His name was Eiichiro Takaba. He was the head researcher at the time. A very talented man. Head researcher. So he was... He's the one that writing that's writing the documents. In Tartarus. But we are the ones who are responsible. We pushed him to continue the research. The Kirijo group is to blame for his death. I... I can't believe it. So that means... My dad caused it all? The Dark Hour, Tartarus, the people who died in that incident? But many more people would have died if... I guess if the research went through, right? It was all his fault? Uh, you okay? <sighs> so that's why you were hiding this? Because you felt sorry for me? Is that it? No, Takiba, I... I don't want your pity! Um, shouldn't someone go after her? Uh... I'll go. Will you go? Sure. Thank you. I believed in him for so long. Oh, this is too much.
Remember what I told you at the hospital? Yeah. How my dad died when I was little? You were... You told me because you felt sorry for my... my situation as well. You understand now, right? He died in that incident. Nobody knew the truth, so there were all sorts of rumors. Because he was in charge of the research team, people were really mean to me and my mom. We even had to move a few times. That must have been tough. Yeah. But all this time, I kept telling myself it wasn't his fault. I loved him a lot, and I believed he'd never do anything wrong. I received a letter back in the spring. It was from him, written ten years ago. It cracked me up, because even though it said to my family, it was pretty much all about me. That only made me believe in him more. When I found out I had a special power, I thought it was fate. I was scared. But I thought if I cooperated with the Kirijo group, I might find out what really happened. That's why I agreed to fight using my persona. <sighs> but it turns out, all of that was for nothing. It wasn't for nothing. <sighs> You're just trying to make me feel better. Why does reality have to be so harsh? I tried so hard to fight my fear, and this is what I get. Maybe I'm just jealous of Mitsuru Senpai. I mean, why my father and not hers? <laughs> I'm a horrible person, aren't I? Well, you're just Mr. Perfect. Nothing ever phases you. And now you've got the nerve to try and tell me how to feel? You think you know me? You don't know anything. I'm sorry. Oh, I had some mess. I'm so afraid. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm totally lost. Tell me, what should I do? I think it's okay not to know. I mean... Oh, these are all good answers. Just stay with us and fight. That's the only way to... Huh? You know, you really are one of a kind. I'm sorry for acting like this. You've lost your parents too. But... I'm alright now. I'm used to dealing with stressful situations. Anyway, thanks for listening. Let me guess. Senpai asked you to bring me back, right? You can take your time. Ooh, you're such a gentleman. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, uh, this is kind of awkward, isn't it? Hey! Thank you, Junpei. <laughs> Sheesh, what's taking you so long? Everybody's waiting. It's almost the dark hour, so you should get back. Huh? Oh yeah, that's right. Hmm? Um, did I miss something? I think Junpei coming in was... Thank you. That, that really helped. I almost forgot. It doesn't matter where you are when the dark hour comes. 
Well, duh. All right, let's you go know, back. I've been thinking lately. Once you awaken to the power of Persona, you remember everything that happens during the dark hour. It's like trading away your innocence. In exchange for power, you can no longer look away from the things you don't want to see. We kind of have a responsibility now. So, I guess I'm stuck with you guys, huh? Mm, sucks for you. Yep. <laughs> now that that's settled, let's get back. All right, let's go. I just want to say that the music during that scene was beautiful.